Hey everybody and welcome back to another Cricket Chicken video. Today's video of course is going to be over the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead, Iron Tiger, episode 8 of the final stretch of episodes. This episode was significantly better than the previous one. That last episode, that season, or that mid-season premiere was just, it was not good. And a lot of people would agree, just the story was all over the place and had no real pace to it and just, it was it was not good but coming into this one it just it serviced the story better it serviced certain characters better gave the story progression gave some reveals closed out characters and storylines and just it tied up a few loose ends that we might have seen along the way and uh, you know spoilers if you don't want to hear anymore but we got some major reveals that I didn't think we'd see like it turns out the Iron Tiger was not just some silly name that they came up with. This was actually to service a code name to one of the characters that we had long since thought was dead. And in those opening minutes, we see Madison, Daniel, Victor, and their little group come across this old gas station. And it turns out that this is actually an outpost. And the person in charge of this, another person I wasn't sure we would see again or at least we didn't think this person would be in charge of this. But we see Luciana because as these people are trapped in this gas station, because at some point they are encroached upon by walkers, they get surrounded and they're getting ready to take them all out. But then they are all mowed down from outside. And we see it's Luciana. And this is a part that I was actually kind of surprised about because I thought that Luciana and Daniel were together, but Luciana was just kind of off in the background. We didn't see her for whatever reason, but it turns out she was actually separated from Daniel. Maybe this was revealed at another point in the season, and I just completely forgot about it. But uh, Luciana reveals that she actually traded her life for Daniel's because when they were discovered on the rafts by Padre, the former leaders who, you know, can't forget them soon enough because they were just awful characters. But they were discovered, and it turns out Daniel was actually supposed to be killed at that point because they believed that he would be too old and too useless to serve them any purpose to their cause, to their organization. And so Luciana actually steps up and says, you know, I will do this task for you. I will be of servitude to you if you spare his life. And so this is how Daniel gets away and goes off to form his little army with the parents of all those missing children and to go after Padre. So Luciana reveals this to him and just there's a lot of animosity, I guess, because Victor says, well, you didn't come looking for him all these years and just Victor kind of being Victor for the most part. And he, Daniel being the kind of the optimist, I guess, slash, you know, you don't want to fuck with him. He doesn't want to hear this and he especially doesn't want to hear this from Victor. And so they just kind of let that part of it go, and we kind of get into what Luciana has been up to this whole time. Turns out Luciana has been working in the background of Padre, working in the shadows, being part of their oil refinery, providing gasoline and just general fuel to run their different outposts, their different settlements. And uh, it's just, there's a lot more reveal in this episode, kind of closing off certain stories that we didn't think would ever get closed off, revealing people that we thought long since were dead. And uh, one of those people is Charlie. Now, a lot of us, especially me, I was certainly surprised to see that Charlie was alive. Because when we saw her, she was on death's door. She looked like hell. And it turns out when she was with Luciana and they were discovered by Padre that they actually had the resources to give her treatments for her radiation poisoning. And so it's been seven years later. She obviously has gotten older and she is one of Luciana's trucker drivers going by the code name iron tiger which again which gives into the episode title and so it's not just serving some weird title that they're coming up with these episodes this was serving into the story to one of the characters and luciana is actually going by the code name polar bear which i believe is one of the names of the one of the code names of the truckers from back in the day but uh turns out with this outpost that Luciana has established, this is very similar to what they had back in the day with those truckers. They have a sign up front that says, take what you need, leave what you don't. So they have an area set up for people when they come across, they can take whatever they need. They, can, they have food, medical supplies, water, things like that to get them by. And during this whole thing, as I said... Charlie is one of their truckers. She is responsible for transporting fuel to drop-off points. And they have several drop-off points around the area to help set up different spots for Padre and this and that. But here's where we get the reveal because we obviously all thought that Charlie was dead, but now she's not. And so no one ever told Madison 
that Charlie is the one that killed Nick. So uh, they don't waste any time, really. They jump right into that, and Charlie reveals to Madison, I am the reason that your son is gone. I took your son from you. And so Madison's racked with all this guilt. You know, why did you do this? I took you into the stadium when you were a kid, and... Nick trusted you, I trusted you, it was just a whole big thing. So Madison, naturally, she wants to go into a blind rage and kill this kid, who at this point I think is probably 18, 19, somewhere around there. And obviously she's stopped by everyone else in the group because uh, you know everyone's kind of forgiven her for it, Alicia included. And Victor reveals this to Madison that Alicia was actually the first of the group to forgive her for killing her brother. And it just kind of goes from there and Alicia told her that she's going to have a better life now, that she can have a second chance. And just, it kind of goes from there. And so Madison is willing to forgive on one condition, really. She wants Charlie to infiltrate Troy's army, get in there, and kill him. That's how she believes that Charlie can make up for taking her son. And so Charlie agrees to this, obviously. She's going to, she has been carrying this guilt around for years. And this is why she's doing this trucking and transporting this oil and this refined gas and all these things around to kind of make up for what she did, to kind of take that guilt and feed it into something that can be useful to other people. So she agrees to this, she goes off, and uh, before she leaves, she actually leaves a gift for Madison. It's actually Nick's ashes. They reveal that they did go back to where they buried him, dug him up, cremated him, because they wanted to give him a more meaningful place to be put it, put to rest at, because they didn't think that that place that they buried him initially held any real meaning. And so Charlie leaves her with these ashes, to give Nick the burial that he deserves because all these years, I guess, they've had these ashes. They couldn't decide where would be the best place to do it. So Charlie makes her run, and it's at this point, actually, where she actually gets picked up by Troy's man. She never makes it to where he's at. She gets taken prisoner, and it's here that it is revealed that, th that Charlie is actually the person that Troy is interrogating on the whereabouts of Padre. We saw this in the full trailer maybe the season trailer too but we saw this in the trailer so this is the big reveal of who troy actually has and he's questioning about the whereabouts of padre and the interesting thing too when charlie was being held prisoner she wakes up and she sees as she's waking up that they're chopping the arms off of walkers and sending them out into the wild so it is confirmed here that troy is just severing different walkers and sending them out there planting them hoping that madison comes across them to simply drive her insane, systematically torture her with this guilt that she might have over Alicia's death for not being there for her and just being an all-around asshole, really. And so we get this whole questioning back and forth. Where's Padre? She says she doesn't know. She was only ever uh, responsible for the drop points of the tanker, so she never actually set eyes on Padre itself, but he knows that she's lying. Soon after that, we get Madison, Victor, Daniel, their group showing up, wanting to trade for Charlie. They're willing to give up this information, and Charlie, the whole time, they're talking back and forth on the walkie, saying that she's not going to do that. She's not going to let them do this. And she actually gets the upper hand on one of her captors, kills him, but she still has to deal with one. And the whole time they're going back and forth talking about this. And this is her way, I guess, of making up for things. She actually ends up killing herself, which gives her character a proper close because we thought she was dead already. And maybe at some point during her treatments, she actually has some leftover things from being poisoned. Maybe it shortened her life or just left her with some, some disability that we couldn't see. But she actually ends up killing herself sparing Madison the heartache of having to give up Padre because she was going to. She was going to give up this location. And it's right there and then that she decides, well, Charlie's gone. You have nothing. You have nothing to bargain with. Fuck you. I'm not giving up this location. So with Charlie actually killing herself, I think it gives her character a meaningful goodbye that we would not have seen otherwise because she's not going to sacrifice anybody else's life for her own. And so I... I really actually like that. I like that they went that direction with Charlie. In some ways, yes, I would have liked to have seen her character continue to go on making up for the fact that she killed Nick, but this way it gives her a proper closeout and we don't have to worry about her anymore. And the mystery of what happened to her is solved. But during their back and forth that, you know, Troy's not going to give up on this ocean. He wants somewhere safe to live. He wants somewhere safe for his men to live. And Madison can't figure out why he wants it so badly until we see a kid come out saying a little girl named Tracy has run away and just right away visibly you can see that Troy is just completely distraught. He wants to know where Tracy is. 
So this reveals the identity of that little girl in the trailer that we had no idea who the hell she was coming across Madison saying Alicia's out in this herd. So we get kind of the mystery solved that, yes, this looks like it's Troy's daughter. Madison figures this out too. And she has actually run away from the camp because she wants to see a truck because she's never seen one or a running truck, which seems silly in all the chaos that they're currently going through. But he freaks out. He takes off looking for her, orders his men to keep them where they are. But they actually get overwhelmed by all the walkers. Uh, Troy and Madison come to blows. Like I said, we got a lot of reveals, a lot of mystery solved. And uh, the final bits, I think that they might be closing out some characters. Luciana and Daniel blame Madison for the death of Charlie because it was Madison that let her go into what Daniel called a viper's nest, let her go into this and be killed. And so we see where they're talking about it and she's trying to get him to understand that you know she didn't want this to happen. But Daniel, Luciana, they go off. Daniel kind of gets Luciana to let him go with her because he wasn't sure if she would let it happen, but she, he ends up going with her. Not only that, because of this, uh, Luciana's whole operation, refining oil for gasoline and everything, has been completely compromised. People that she was in charge of, that she cares about, they're at risk now. So she gives her last tanker of gas to Madison, saying this is the last one you're going to get. And Luciana and Daniel go off on their separate way. Whether or not we'll see them again, uh, I think it could go either way. They might just disappear forever, or they might show up in the final fight with Troy to kind of make amends, but they still might end up going off in their own direction, and we never see them again. But uh, Madison, you know, it was with Daniel's parting words saying, you're going to have to convince the parents that you're not the person that you were when you took their kids, but I don't think you can. She decides that she can't, gives the keys to the tanker to Victor. She walks off. And the episode ends there. But as a whole, the episode, so much better than the first one. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story, the pace, the reveals, the mysteries solved. Characters coming back that we thought were dead. And just, it made for a hell of an episode. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with that first one. But I think this one kind of made up for it. It was, it was just better on all counts. And we could possibly see certain characters close out and not come back certainly in charlie's case because she was confirmed dead but anyways that is my review for iron tiger it was a halfway decent episode i enjoyed it and uh hopefully they just get better from the preview from the next one which i am going to break down uh i think we're going to get a dwight centric episode about what makes him go back into the fight because i think he actually has since run off but we'll get into that in my next video but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the review, uh, please leave a comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you next time. Take care. Bye.